Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself... You'll express that love with interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 47, NASDAQ up 17, S&P's up 11 and a half. All the indices, folks, bottom line, as one of our tigresses said in the den, <laughs> quite, a, quite a saying, it's a uh, risk-free Friday. Let me get this right. Is that what... Yeah, risk-free Friday, I'll tell you, in the marketplace. You got to love it. Gold contract. Gold contract trading up uh, $8 at $12.88 an ounce. You got silver up $0.12, cents, $15 flat. Light sweet crude down $2.21 at $63. Let's go over to that light sweet crude market and take a look at uh, CLM. This is taking a nice little hit. After we, we reached $66 uh, this week. 66 let's see, what we got to? We got the 66 60 um, you get some action on the downside out here in a big way today. You get, you're down 230. You have almost a million contracts traded. When you, see, when you take a look at this, the amount of contracts traded, you can see that uh, this thing, you know, has been a one-way trade. Now, it's been a one-way trade, folks, since the 24th of December. Now, this is where this is going to get interesting, and this is why. What you have, the oil market as well as the S&P, has traded together right from the 24th. Now, the S&P is bottom line at highs. This move here by oil, we'll see whether we get some movement inside the S&P next week. Because what we do have out here also is that if you look at the transportation index, uh, that baby topped out. Uh, that came down. Uh, you got some good juice in the way down. It tested its high of the October... Um, no, I have December. Yeah, high of October. It tested that on Wednesday. It failed. It had volume on the way down, off the high. SMHs, semiconductor index, same setup. Bottom line, semiconductor index, that little baby hit a high on Wednesday. This has been a one way trade by the semiconductor index, by the way. Came off that level. Yesterday, you did 9.9 .9 million shares. Today, you get 9.2. You start putting those babies together, particularly with the oil market. We'll see uh, how this shakes out next week. Now, what's going to be intriguing next week is that you have so many earnings coming out, plus we have the Fed, plus you get the jobs numbers, plus you get window dressing. So, <laughs> going to be pretty wild. Notes and bonds still want higher price, low yield. We take a look at the 10-year note. What you're going to see out here in the 10-year note, right now you're trading... Up eight ticks. You're done 1.3 million contracts. We are at a level that this thing is right next to its highs, actually. 124.21 is the high, and we're at 123.21. Uh, bottom line, it's going to go for that high. The real question is, is it, it going to break it? Uh, and we'll see uh, how that shakes out. What we have done, once again, is that we are over the high of January 3rd. That was the consolidation. Uh, from January 3rd, going all the way over to the 21st of March. That was the consolidation. It broke topside, stayed up there about five days, took about another 10 to get underneath it. You're getting above it today, and you're getting above it with volume. That's on your 10. On your 30, same type of setup. 30-year bond right now, you're up a half a point. You're trading at 147.20, and this little baby, same type of setup. Let's see, so 147.31 was the high of January 3rd. Not over that yet, but bottom line, you do have volume behind the move, wants higher price. King dollar. What do we have with king dollar? Now, this is, uh, is going to be the trip, man. There's no doubt. King dollar, what is amazing this week, folks, is that king dollar went topside, and gold didn't get destroyed, nor did bonds. So unusual. Um, but bottom line, it is what it is. King dollar today... Gets out, hits 98, 08, you're at 97, 726. And as I said at the beginning of the, the 
show at the update, if you had learned, had heard the update, uh, the number to watch out here today, and we're right next to it, is going to be, I believe it's going to be 97,705. Yeah, 97,705. And right now we're at 97,725. Because if you close under that 705, that's a failure. Um, and it's been trying to, the, the thing that's amazing here, let's see. I can make the case that, yeah, we go back on uh, August. August of last year, that was kind of the beginning of the consolidation. And it's been a very tight consolidation. The thing that is pretty wild um, is that when we, when we do look at the other currencies, like the third world currencies have been going down dramatically and going down against the dollar for quite some time. The euro broke downtown this week, um, had a decisive break downtown, hasn't been able to save itself yet. The euro is trading at 111.53. The euro would have to get back inside 112. 112, I'd say that's, that's where that baby has to go. Uh, if we take a look at the uh, yen, uh, what you're going to see in the yen right now, the, the yen right now is trading out. This would be the spot yen. That's trading out at 111.60. And what has happened this week with the yen is that it tried to go topside. It failed on Wednesday. Uh, anything under 112. 14 is saying that the yen is going to try to make it way down to 109 again. And what we are going to have, um, which is different, we haven't had in a long period of time, the Japanese markets are going to be closed for quite some time, about a week to 10 days. Um, so that's going to make a difference in uh, where the yen is going to trade also, no doubt about that. Some of the higher volume equities out here, uh, Intel, Microsoft, I mean Intel, uh, that's baby's down five and a half dollars, five dollars and seventy cents. Tesla is off fifteen dollars and sixty-one cents. Tesla broke out of the uh, consolidation. Tesla's in trouble out here. TSLA. What you're going to see with Tesla is that it, it's had a large consolidation. It blew it away this week. It was a high volume low. It was going after. Not only went after the high volume low, just blew it away. That high volume low was at two forty-four fifty-nine. We took it out, and guess what? You're going to take this baby out, and it's almost going to have the volume. Uh, you bring this back a little bit more, and it looks to me like uh, your next uh, stop in Tesla is going to be uh, down about 141, and right now you're at 231. So you're talking about big numbers. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.